that was a 14 hour travel day. Yep. This should have been six. Yep. Well, we're back on the road. We have the RV in tow, finally. Yay! After about $900 worth of work this morning at two different locations. Tires and DEF system crap. Yep, six hours and $900. We should be pulling into the RV park right now. <laughs> Instead, we are just departing. We yeah. may be rolling into the campground at night, which it would be the very first time that we've ever done that in our full-time travels. Yeah. So if that happens, I'm definitely not looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. um, this is why we always say, have a plan, have extra money. Stuff like this happens all the time. You never know when the moment is going to strike you. Yep. And it struck hard. It struck <laughs> us. Yeah, it seemed like nothing could go right this morning. No. But it could be a blessing in disguise. Yeah. It, because had we not had the tire issue, uh, we would have taken off, hooked yeah. up to the RV, and we would have got the error about the DEF and said, hey, you can only go 150 more miles before You're we'll slow you down. down to five miles an hour. So yeah. then we would have had to find a place where we could fit the RV and the truck and, truck and get the truck worked on same day because we wouldn't be able to get to a campground. So kind of a good thing that the tire thing happened. I guess. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, we still have some more maintenance to do on the DEF system, about four or $500 more of maintenance to do. Yeah. It would have taken a lot longer to do that today. It's not gonna cause any it's kind of catastrophic. Crucial, yeah. so. Not gonna cause any catastrophic failures or anything. So we will uh, get that worked on when we get to Florida. So yeah. Um, anyway, I forgot to mention that we spent a hundred dollars and eighty-five cents last night in fuel. Okay. So we'll add that to All the right. one before and see where we're at. And um, we'll have to stop about halfway today to get gas. And uh, I don't think we're gonna get gas tonight after we get to the campground. I think once we get there, we're gonna stop and then we'll hook up tomorrow morning. Yeah and just go to like a Loves or something. Okay. That was a 14 hour travel day. Yep. This should have been six. And even after we got on the road, it should have been six. It wasn't six. It was more like eight. Uh, it's a traffic. We hit a lot of traffic in Nashville because we hit it at rush hour. Uh, and then we hit a lot of traffic in Atlanta because they start construction at 9 p.m. Yeah. And there was a wreck. Yeah. So it just kept adding on, adding on. We didn't eat. Nope. Uh, we were supposed to eat at the gas stop. We stopped there and a bunch of asshats were blocking the route in there. There was a guy, a trucker guy who was trying to get into the maintenance bay. He had plenty of room to pull up, but he didn't. And so it was narrow to get around the loop. And so the next guy pulled in and he didn't think he could make it. So he stopped. And I guess he was either waiting for the guy to get into the bay or whatever. But so we left because mm -hmm. we couldn't get into the truck lanes. So we had to go to a different gas station which didn't have food. We had snacks and stuff, but didn't have food food. And I was already pissed, and so we just got gas and yeah, came straight here. I'm gonna get my pajamas, I'm gonna have a snack, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. In that order. <laughs> um, that was the longest, most painful travel day that we've ever had. Yeah. Because it was just super long. We had major issues. We had to come in at night. Um, we traveled six days the day before. Six hours. Or, see, I can't even talk. Six days. It feels like we traveled six days the day before today. <laughs> I don't have the energy to laugh. It's 11, it's, it's 11 p.m. We started at 9 a.m. this morning. It's 11 p.m. We got up at 8. Yeah, and we just pulled in. Yeah. And getting in in the dark is no fun. Even though it was a pull through, it still wasn't fun. Yeah. I don't know that I've been this tired since I was in the army. <laughs> it 
It feels like I, I've been in the field for a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never been in the field, but I'm pretty sure that's what it felt like. Well, I'll tell you, when you go to the field, you are pissed off, <laughs> you are tired, you're hungry, you're dirty, everything hurts, and you just want to go get something to eat, take a shower, and lay down. Like I said, I've been to the field. <laughs> so now you've been to the field. <laughs> We can't even stand up. I'm leaning on the no, I cannot stand up and I cannot my hold the camera. back feel better if I stretch my legs out. Oh, the last gas stop, the fuel stop was $120.01. Because it's impossible to go one cent anymore. Because gas is so expensive, you go bloop, it's like 17 cents. So I was, oh I was lucky that I got it at 120.01. Leslie feeling up for the day. I need enough <laughs> coffee for that. <laughs> it just ain't. Scott slept in his carrier last night. There was no need to really get him out. His bedtime was at nine and we were still on the road, so no need to really get him out of there. So So he'll spend two full days in his carrier. I'm sure he's a fan of that. Yep. We um We got another six hour day. But the good news is we were thinking that we might run into a tropical storm mm -hmm. and it looks like the majority of that's going to be south, south of Orlando so we might get a little bit of rain but it's not going to be nearly what we thought we yeah. might have to drive into today. Thank God. Um, I don't even know what this spot looks like. I'm going to go outside and look at the spot. Apparently we got some trees. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I didn't even know our slide was that close to a tree, honestly, when we put it out last night. I honestly didn't care if it was close to a tree. <laughs> Look at this. I didn't even... <laughs> Sunny out. This ain't bad. This ain't bad at all. Got a nice pull through. Got a little deck there. A little fire pit. Not that we're using any of that stuff, but it's nice. We stayed hooked up last night because there was no need not to. We had a long enough spot to where we could stay hooked up. The only thing we did was put the leveling jacks down just enough to take the pressure off the off the tire so it wasn't holding the weight of the RV all night. But hey, it got us through the night and um, not looking forward to driving six hours again today, but looking forward to having this crap over with. When we just got done fueling this morning, it was $101.26. And and I will tell you, the thing I hate about having to go through the truck lanes is this. That's right. We are done fueling. He's in there going to the bathroom, getting a drink, taking a shower. I don't even know what, but we're at the mercy of him. We can't get started until he decides we're ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. Anyway, I, I, I wanted to clarify too that we're filling up when we're about half full. So these aren't full tanks. I know you're thinking like, wow, $101, that's great. No, it's only half a tank. <laughs> so anyway, hey, he's moving. Ha <laughs> 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 here we go. Well, we made it through the last travel day. And we are now in Orlando. Yes. And Land it's- Land is the hot and sticky. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> Today wasn't a bad travel day um, from South no. Atlanta down to Orlando. Yeah. And it probably didn't feel like as bad of a travel day because yesterday sucked so bad yeah. that today was like, okay. Today, today was eight hours, but. It was only it was only six hours of driving time. We got held yeah. up at, a, at a, both gas both stops. stops were long. Yeah, because yeah. we had truckers in the way, wouldn't get out of the way. Yeah. And then we had slow people serving For food. food. Yeah. And so... Um, so we were actually the ones blocking at the second fuel stop. Well, serves them right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we were here. Um, you know, trips like this are just terrible. Yes. There's nothing good because mm -mm. you're traveling fast. It's long days, quick overnight sleeps, so you don't feel rested no. before you're right back on the road. And it'd be a little, it would be a little better if you were like going to do something fun. Yeah, if you were on your way, yeah. <laughs> if you were on your way to some fun stuff, you'd be like, "It's all right, man. We're, we're going. There. It's okay because we're going to whatever." <laughs> but when you're just going to a medical emergency for a family member, it's nothing good. 
No, every so, obstacle that could get in the way got in the way. So yeah, I mean, you, like, the travel sucks. You're not going for anything fun. Yeah. Uh, you're going to Florida for the summer. <laughs> where you're going to be hot and sticky. I've avoided it ever since <laughs> we got married. We have never come to Florida during the summer. But hey, Scout did great. Scout was a champ, man. man. he stayed in his carrier. He was quiet he the He never time. wanted out. Not once. I was surprised. Normally after about three hours of three to four hours on the road he wants out and he did three days straight yeah. more than six hours per day a lot more he stayed in his and he hung out with us at the dealership yeah he for did those, come out of his carrier for that yeah. so he spent a couple hours on the so dealership. between firestone and the dealership he spent six hours in his carrier there then rode another eight hours yeah. in his carrier uh carrier yeah and then slept in his carrier and, and then, then rode all day today rode all day carrier. today in his carrier he was in his carrier for like champ. 30 hours <laughs> He's my idol because I couldn't have done it. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, man, me? it was, there's a reason we don't travel like this. Yeah. And so, uh, but we're here, um, we're here with family. Um, we're, we're, whatever happens or however long it takes to happen, uh, we're yeah. going to be here for that. And yeah. we're just going to stick around for the winter. Um, we're just going to stay in Florida. We'll, you know, we'll so pop. If so if you're coming to Florida in the next nine ten months let us know this is one of the only videos ever where we talk about where we're at and then by the time you watch this we'll still be still there be. <laughs> it's, that's rare i don't think yeah. it's ever happened because normally we'll get comments like oh i see you're in the area you should you know we should get and i'm like oh we're like 900 miles away from you now yeah it's been four weeks since yeah <laughs> not this time we won't be here no if you're watching this we're and you're here. in orlando <laughs> we're here too <laughs> yeah yeah um, we're dealing with family stuff, but we still would like to hang out with people and meet people. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, and we'll be bouncing around Thousand Trails and mm -hmm. Encore properties so we yeah. can stay for cheap or free. Yes. And, um, man. Oh, gas. Gas. Yes. We want to reveal the gas. Must we? How much the gas price was total. And you guessed? I guessed 580 And I guessed I was trying to be conservative. <laughs> yeah, I guessed 650 and it was six twenty three eighty six. Yeah. Which means what? Shut up. It means we, we did better than you predicted. <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> no, no, no. It means what? It means I underestimated <laughs> a little bit. No, 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 bit. no. Don't no. <laughs> say the W word. I did what? I win. Yeah. I'm not saying <laughs> I can't say it. I physically can't say it. Like, my body won't let me say. <laughs> okay, you would. Yeah. <laughs> it's like on. I'm already <laughs> Liar, <sore>. liar. <laughs> you yeah. <laughs> can't yeah. get it out no man. no i, I <laughs> maybe can't. i'll write it <laughs> yeah i couldn't even do that <laughs> no no anyway i can't say it i win the gas game i, I was not the closest out that's as best as i could do <laughs> i was not the closest <laughs> that's awesome anyway we're exhausted uh, she's gonna go color her hair yeah I gotta go chill. <laughs> not that, not that anybody ever hours. sees my hair, no. but they can see it on the side, so you can yeah. tell it's it's way overdue. So we're gonna go rest tonight, so yeah. we can go and start being with family and taking care of all that stuff. But yes. um, stick around for a few seconds, and we'll honor a fallen hero. Okay. And if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. We'll mm -hmm. see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.